Hey there, fellow kayakers. I wanted to share with you guys what I recently learned about trailer tires. Um, so I had finally uh, you know, purchased and found the new kayak trailer that I was looking for. And uh, you can check out my video review on that if you're interested. Uh, my new trailer came with some standard load B 12 inch tires and rated at 65 miles per hour. So most of the places I wanted to go kayaking are often 100 miles or more away. So that means buzzing down you know, the interstate at 70, 75 miles an hour and trying not to get run over by some of the crazies out there. So I was a little worried that the standard tires on my trailer may not be safe enough um, uh, for the higher prolonged um, highway speeds. So my plan was to replace the tires with better ones and then use one of the original ones as my spare on a carrier. Um, I'll show you guys how I attached it to my trailer later in this video. But in my haste, I ordered uh, through Amazon Load C tires, which I thought would be a higher speed tire. Um, but after a little more research, I discovered that I was wrong. Um, <laughs> so instead of guessing anymore, I picked up the phone and I called the vendor that I ordered my tires from uh, through Amazon, uh, eCustom Rim. Uh, now, what I'm about to say um, is completely unsolicited and it's not a plug for eCustom Rim at all. I'm just going to share my experience with you. Um, but I spoke to a gentleman and explained exactly what I was looking for and hoping to manage a safe highway speed at 70, 75 uh, miles per hour, you know, without my tires blowing up or some other you know, disaster that I had imagined in my head. And uh, he, he patiently schooled me on what I needed to know. So here goes. Uh, trailers are generally limited to speeds of 65 miles per hour in most states. And so the ratings for trailers will show that as a limit, regardless of the trailer tire that comes with that trailer. Uh, a six ply tire will always be better than a four ply, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a high speed tire. And that's where the speed rating of tires then come into play. It's the uh, letter H here in this, in this pick. And here's another pick to measure the lug size. Um, most of these trailers use a standard size, but you need to know um, how to measure it before ordering to make sure you get the right ones. Anyway, uh, the guy I spoke to at eCustom Rim uh, recommended the slightly wider 530 12-inch six-ply tires with a speed rating of M, which is rated at 81 miles an hour. Great, exactly what I was looking for. I, I, I feel so much better talking to the experts. And I cannot say enough good things about the customer service of eCustom Rim. They, they paid for the shipping back on the tires that I incorrectly ordered the first time and paid for the shipping on the new ones that I had just uh, called and ordered. And, you know, I had fully expected and even tried to pay the shipping back for the old and, and for the new, but they wouldn't have it. They said that's not how they do business. So, wow, what a refreshing experience. So hats off to those guys, and I highly recommend ordering from them. So, in, uh, in two days, I got my new tires. The brand is Echo Trail ST. These are 5.30 5 by 12, so they're a half inch wider than the original 4.80 by 12 tires that I had returned. And you can see the speed rating here, 82M. Uh, M rating again shows uh, the speed uh, from the chart that I looked up as being 81 miles per hour. Six ply tires. Uh, you can see that it shows four ply uh, plus two ply on the sidewalls. That makes it a true six ply tire. And um, load range C for a max load of 1,050 pounds, which is way more than I'll ever need for trailering my kayaks. Um, and the original load B tires were rated at uh, 785 pounds. So the load rating is simply the weight capacity of the tires. And 80 PSI on the new tires makes them a little stiffer versus uh, 60 PSI on the original tires. So, so what you need for your trailer and application it may be totally different than what I'm using here, but I would recommend not making the same mistake I did uh, and then guessing at what you need, ordering the wrong ones. I would uh, call the experts like I eventually did and, and tell them exactly what you need to achieve your needs. Anyway, time to load these babies on the new trailer and put one of the original tires on as, as spare, so stand by. So here's the original tires on the left. 
and you can see the clearance they have under the fender there. It's an adjustable bracket to raise or lower the fender. It looks like the fender is raised all the way. And here is the new tires. You can see that the new tires are going to be slightly taller and I believe that's still going to give me the clearance I need. It's quite a bit of clearance here on these tires, but uh, we'll soon find out. So here's another shot of these tires. The old one on the left, the four ply, and the new one on the right. You can see it's a half inch wider and a little bit taller. And that difference is gonna be split uh, between the bottom of the tire and the top once it's mounted. So I think our clearance is gonna be good. And there we go. There's a new wheel mounted. Looks like there's plenty of fender space up here between the fender and the tire, and uh, should be good to go. Do the other side, wrap things up, and I'll show you how I mounted my uh, old tire there. There's a spare on the front, and we'll get to that in just a minute. So I'm sure most of you guys know that whenever you're tightening tires, you wanna always go tighten them slowly from opposite lug to opposite lug and increment up until you get to whatever your your torque uh, rating should be on these tires it's showing like 80 to 85 pounds i'm going to put mine to 80. Um, after the first trip i'm going to tighten it back down to 80 possibly 85. so one more thing i wanted to mention um, while i'm swapping out this this other tire is that most of these trailers um, have a little rubber cap here on the axle so if you pop that off you can see there's a grease fitting right there. So the trailer manufacturers recommend that you grease these guys up um, at least once a year, depending on how many miles you're traveling. If you're putting a lot of miles in your trailer, you really can't do this too often. So as you uh, put in the new grease here, the old grease is gonna come out here. So you'll kinda see how that's new. I haven't put but maybe 40 miles on this trailer. And after a while, that grease will get kind of a burnt look. And uh, so you really need to to grease that as, as, as often as you need to. So the way this spare tire mount works is you have this U-bolt that goes up underneath here. You then put those bolts through your, your spare tire on top. You can position that anywhere you think is best on the frame. I tend to want to move it more towards the wheels where there's more support than on the tongue. And these little guys just kind of screw down. And then once those are screwed down tight, you're, what you're gonna have is these two openings right here where you can put your, your padlock through and uh, lock it securely. Um, one more thing, I recommend everybody get one of these little four pin dust cap covers. Uh, to protect your pins uh, when you don't have it hooked up. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hopefully I'll have some new videos on some new trips coming soon. Thanks for watching.